Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the world's first projected 3D images. Now these are images that are not just like a hologram, where you don't get to see all sides of it if you walk around, but you can actually see it as if it's an object that exists in real life like the projections of Princess Leia in Star Wars. Normal holographic projections that you've seen before work similar to this. This is called the Pepper's Ghost Display. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna play a video on my phone. It's gonna be projected up out of the screen so it looks like it's 3D. Hey everyone, it's Action Lab 2121 coming to you with another holographic message. This same illusion has been used for over a hundred years. It's the illusion that's used in Disney's Haunted Mansion as well to make the ghosts. What you're seeing here isn't actually a 3D image, it's still a 2D image. If you walk at different angles to it, it still looks like a 2D image. It's not like you can see what it looks like behind me. When you spin it around, I'm still facing forward. All it is is a reflection off of some glass at a 45 degree angle. So you display the image from below and it bounces off the glass and it makes it look as though the image is directly behind the glass, when in reality it's below it. Another thing you can do that looks a bit more realistic is use parabolic mirrors. Now watch what happens when I try to grab it. It's not there. It sure looks like it's here, but it's not. In fact, it's down here. Both of the things that I've just shown aren't really 3D images of the object, meaning that if I change the direction and walk around them, I can't see them from another angle. But what if you could project a real 3D image like you see in Star Wars? Is that actually possible? The hard part in creating something like this is you need to be able to reflect light off of something that moves in three dimensions, not just two dimensions. And so you have to be able to manipulate particles in three dimensions to be able to move so you can reflect the light off of it. So that what you're seeing isn't just an illusion, but it's actually light reflecting off 3D particles. Well, a team at Brigham Young University led by Dr. Smalley has created a way in which you can actually project a real 3D image. Not surprisingly, they named this project the Princess Leia Project. What they've done here is use something called an optical trap. They're trapping a single particle in the air using lasers. The way this works is because light does have momentum. If you take a really tiny particle that can absorb infrared light, what happens when it's close to that beam of light is that if it's displaced from the center of the beam, like on the right here, the larger momentum change pushes it towards the center. But if it's centered in the middle of the beam, there's no force on it, so it stays right there. And also you can get it to move the other direction if you focus the beam so that it's centered in the middle, then you can get it to move in the axial position. You can see here a particle being held in place by lasers. But what's cooler than this is once you know how to hold it in place, you can actually move it around as well. And then once you can move it around, you can create images. And they can get different colors on the images by shining red, green, and blue lasers on the particle that's already held in place with an infrared laser. And the cool thing is, is when you move something fast enough, it doesn't just look like one particle anymore, but it looks like a continuous object in the air. Kind of like if you spin a sparkler around really fast, it'll just look like a continuous loop. For example, what they've done here is in real life, this isn't computer generated or anything, they shoot a laser blaster from one spaceship to another and see it explode. Or in this one, you can see a stick figure walking across a person's finger. And because it's a real particle, it means that you can even interact with it in real life, so you can almost touch the image as well. If you take longer exposure shots, you can get even cooler images like this. You can see Princess Leia and other things. Dr. Smalley and his colleagues just recently published their findings in the journal Nature. So this technology is still in its infancy. But what's really cool about this is it may open the doors for futuristic displays where you can actually see real 3D images displayed in front of you. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. Check out the Action Lab Shorts if you haven't yet where I make videos similar to this channel but much shorter in less than a minute. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.